I've had my Harvey Gold Top table saw for a couple weeks now and I've really loved it. I've already added the Jessam stock guys with a removable jig held in with magnets. I will leave that video up there in the top right hand corner if you haven't seen it and in the description below. Go check that out. And today I'm going to be adding something else to the fence. It is the digital readout from Wixie. So what's in the box? What's in the box? Now, before I get everything out of the box, let me tell you, I did buy this with my own money. So my opinions are not bought and paid for. Everything that I say in this video is from the heart and you can take that to the bank. So what is in the box? So far, I've pulled out two sensor tapes that go on the aluminum rails that are wrapped up in that red plastic bubble wrap and then I pulled out a box of hardware and now you see me pulling out the actual digital readout itself from Wixie. I'm just going to double check make sure I've got everything. Nothing left in the box. Nope. Let's get rid of that stuff. And with the magic of video editing everything is unwrapped and I can go through and make sure I've got everything. So there you see me picking up the actual digital readout and then picking up the instructions to see what I need to do first. And first things first, they want me to join both of those aluminum rails together with that kind of dovetailed key. They do give you four bolts for this and they are a 10 mil. And if you are like me, I could not find my 10 millimeter and I actually had to go out and buy one because I can never find that thing. It's, it's a mystery. Where do 10 millimeter sockets go? Do they grow legs and just walk off? I think they might. Maybe I should check my dryer. Anyways, I've got the aluminum rails joined together now, and then I'm going to cinch them down with my ratchet and that aforementioned 10 millimeter socket and get them nice and snug. Now, one thing you might also want to do is Put a straight edge on this to make sure that they are joining up together nice and straight. Now I'm moving over to the underside of my fence where there are four bolts holding the top rail to the fence and I originally thought that I was going to use all four of the brackets that come with the kit but it turns out that this Harvey table saw does not have all four of those bolts in line with each other so I ended up having to only use two of those brackets, but it seems pretty stout. I don't think I'll have any problems with this. It seems like it'll be okay. If I do see something come up in the future, I can always drill and tap out for a couple more of those brackets. And here you see me just adding that second bracket along the line and I'm just gonna get it nice and tight. And it, it was kind of funny because every time I would tighten it, it would spin that bracket. And I also didn't want to get it super tight so I could have a little bit of play when I was trying to get the rail attached to it. And as you see here, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble getting this rail onto those brackets because the, the tolerances are just so dead on. You have to be like super, super precise getting that screw up and also sliding the rail on at the same time. But a little bit of finagling, I got her done. So then I slid on the actual digital readout and I wanted to double check that it would move freely and there wouldn't be anything catching it. And with that sliding well, I could move on to the next step of adding the actual bracket that comes in the kit to my fence that would come down and the actual digital readout would magnetize itself to which then when you move the fence left and right, it would stick to it and give you your readout. Now, as you can probably tell, I had just the slightest issue getting this bolt into that bracket. The threads on that bolt were just a little bit too large, but I was able to weasel my way into the bracket and then spin that bolt to where those threads would come through. And then I could actually attach that locking nut onto the bolt. I did have to come back after the fact and tighten this up even more because initially I thought that I needed to leave this nut a little bit loose so I could use my handle on my fence and have it nice and easy to lock and unlock. However, that came into an issue where the Wixie 
electronic digital readout would kind of move a little bit and it had too much play. So I did come back and lock this thing down really tight to where there was no play in that bracket at all and the readout would stick right to it and not have any play. So as you just saw right there, I had just the slightest bit of play and I thought that I would tighten it up a little bit more to take out that play, but I still left probably too much play, even though I could use my handle freely. So next up was adding that stick on sensor track kind of thing that comes with it. That's what the digital readout actually will read to know where it is on your table saw to give you that readout. Without this lined up, it's pretty much got no idea where it is. And then to attach the other side, they give you this little coupler that you stick on these two little dots and then you join the other side to it. And that makes both sides read perfectly. So with everything installed, it was time to calibrate this thing, slid the fence all the way over to the blade and then held the on off cal button until the ABS started blinking. And then you hit it one more time to set everything to zero and then you're calibrated. That's it. She's ready to go. I'm going to lock the fence down and let's do a test cut. So I'm going to move it over to two inches on the dot and then we will run a piece of scrap plywood that I've got through here and we will test the thickness to make sure she is actually calibrated at two inches on the dot. So I've got my calipers and we are going to squeeze this thing right down to two inches. So will this thing be accurate for me forever? Who knows? We'll see. Will I use this instead of my tape measure every time? Probably not. But it's good to have. Go get one. Or don't. Doesn't matter to me. We'll see you on the next one.